this is one of the most challenging topic which i am presenting here that is metagenomics study and analysis so the first concern which remains always unanswered even those people who are working in this field is the background and detailed knowledge about metagenomics thus i have decided to present the details in production application and challenges in metagenomics study and analysis moreover we have also covered the pipeline including all the major steps from sample collection to data visualization so this tutorial includes the depth in production about metagenomics overview of the pipeline sample collection dna extraction sequencing quality control assembly annotation taxonomic analysis functional analysis visualization and graphical overview for the pipeline so in introduction we could say metagenomics is the study of all the genomes of organisms isolated from a bulk sample it is particularly useful for studying communities of microorganisms in various environments such as human skin or water samples from different sources for example sea or sea sewages which we can say the waste water which we are throwing away every day in order to identify which kind of diseases could be spread possibly from these open water logging in different places in developing countries understanding microbial interactions in various environments is a significant challenge because most microbes cannot be cultured using the standard laboratory techniques metagenomics addresses the limitations of traditional microbiological techniques it is a culture independent and is used to study the vast majority of microbes that are unculturable or difficult to culture metagenomics is uses several genomic technologies and tools to study the meta the genomes of microorganisms and microbial communities in their natural environments and within their complex communities it has contributed to our understanding of microbial ecology and diversity metagenomics focuses on community genes and their interactions rather than individual organisms metagenomics is the study of gen material recovered directly from environmental samples it allows the analysis of microbial communities without the need for culturing now the development of molecular techniques such as the use of 16s rna sequencing allowed the use of the study of microbial communities without the need for cultivation this built the foundation for metagenomics the use of our rna as a molecular marker was the first proposed by carl coise in the late 1970s so basically this right side graphical presentation is representing the different time points and the technological advancement in genomics field so 16s rna is one of the most commonly used technique for meta genomics now there are more details so what i am interested here not to give you the years or something our concern is where we got more and more interested in the sense of <clears throat> big community microbial community studies it was between 1995 and 2004 
So in the mid 2000, different specialized databases and bioinformatics tools were developed to manage the growing volume of metagenomic data. Projects like Camera and IMG provided platforms for storing and sharing metagenomic data. At present, metagenomics continues to advance along with other omics technologies. The field of metagenomics is rapidly growing with the improvements in sequencing technologies and bioinformatics or computational tools. Principles of metagenomics. Metagenomics principles involve studying the genome of microbial communities in bulk environmental samples directly without culturing individual species. This allows detailed analysis of microbial communities and overcomes the limitations of traditional laboratory culture methods. The process in metagenomics include collecting environmental samples, extracting DNA from the microorganisms present in the sample, sequencing using high throughput technologies such as Illumina, and analyzing the sequencing data with computational tools to identify and characterize the microbial communities in their natural habitats. Metagenomic studies can be performed using two main methods. The first is targeted sequencing, which is based on the principle that are targeting specific regions of an organism's genome can be used to identify and characterize the organisms. The second method is shotgun sequencing, which is quite old also and is based on the principle of randomly sequencing random sequencing all the DNA in a sample, which provides a detailed analysis of genetic material from all the organisms present in the selected sample. Types of metagenomics, for, so there will be two types, targeted metagenomics, that is 16 as RNA and shotgun metagenomics or we can say whole genome shotgun that is a small wgs the reason to write a small wgs is to avoid the contradiction between whole genome sequencing which is most commonly represented by capital w capital g capital s so i abbreviated it slightly differently that is small w small g small s so targeted metagenomics is basically amplicon based sequencing and it involves sequencing a specific genetic markers or conserved regions within microbial communities such as 16 s rna for bacteria and 18 s rna or its regions for fungi these regions have variable sequences that are useful for the identification of different organisms present in various environmental samples. However, identifying organisms at the species level is challenging with the method. This method generally does not provide strain level resolution. So now shotgun metagenomics involves random sequencing of all genetic material in one sample, unlike targeted sequencing methods that focus on specific genetic markers. Shotgun metagenomics sequences all the DNA present in one sample. This provides the detailed information on both the taxonomic and functional composition of the microbial communities. And it allows a specific a species level identification. So importance of metagenomics, the traditional pure culture method in microbiology, isolated individual species and studies their responses to a specific chemical in controlled environments. This method limits our understanding of microbial behavior within complex communities. Metagenomics addresses these limitations of traditional microbial or microbiology by allowing the study of microbial communities directly in their natural habitats. 
This provides information about ecological roles and interactions of microbes in these communities. Metagenomics allows the study of genetic material from entire microbial communities without the need for culturing individual species. Metagenomics provides information about the composition, function, and interaction within microbial communities. And these are some of the selected example of microbial communities. For example, the plant and the plant where it exists. Then if we want to select the plant's location in a specific geographical location, then we would like to take collect some of the samples from plant root and the soil and then we could go for metagenome transcriptome metabolome or proteome then we go for different goals for example metabolic metabolomic studies proteomics studies metagenomics studies and many more things for which we could need to collect rna dna protein and then go for identification of new metabolites, new proteins and enzymes, expression profiling of genes, microbial diversity, genes for tool like novel enzymes and protein identification. So these are for different, different level of studying. But currently we are presenting metagenomics where we are not going to look for gene expression or some other details. We are just interested in identification of the species. This is the primary goal of metagenomics. So let's go for next part, applications of metagenomics. So from the previous slides, it is quite clear where it could be applied. For example, the first application could be in the medical field, which is quite commonly used. For example, these days there is gut microbiome study which is common that is also part of metagenomics then you can go for agriculture biotechnology textile industry food sector section functional gene and metabolic pathways identification explore microbial diversity disease diagnosis human and animal genetics medicines and antibiotics development 